Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are looking ahead to the month of October in Animal Crossing New Horizons to check out everything new coming during the spooky season. This will of course be helpful to you if you've been away from your island for a while or you're one of the thousands joining the community every month. Plus, it's super nostalgic for everyone else. So if you're excited for the spooky season, be sure to leave a like and please consider subscribing if you love Animal Crossing as much as me. And let's get to it. Number one, Halloween. Now, October needs no introduction. It is, of course, the spooky season and the vast majority of changes that occur throughout the month are influenced by Halloween. Halloween is the only event that takes place on the New Horizons Island during October, but it's an event that pretty much takes place for the entire month or at least the preparation does. As you'd expect, Halloween falls on October 31st, and here you'll be able to take part in trick-or-treating activities to earn several Halloween-themed items and recipes, some of which are only available from Jack, including the Haunt Reaction. There are lots of other things available in the lead-up to the event, though, including candy and seasonal items available from Nooks, spooky-inspired outfits from the Able sisters and spooky DIY recipes from villagers every day. You're going to need a bunch of candy to take part in Halloween so be sure to buy it every day. If you want to learn more about Halloween activities let me know in the comments. Number 2 Day of the Dead With October being so busy it makes sense that there's only one seasonal event this month which is of course Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is traditionally celebrated in Mexico and other parts of the world honouring those who have passed. As you'd expect in honour of this real world event, a seasonal item is available from the Nook Stop. The Marigold decoration can be purchased for a limited time from October 25th through to November 3rd. Unfortunately this can't be customised, but it's definitely an item you don't want to miss. Number 3 Spooky Characters with it being the spooky season, you may notice some of the special characters also begin to dress up in the spirit of Halloween. Characters such as Tom Nook, Isabel, Timmy and Tommy, Mabel and Orville will all be wearing spooky accessories in the lead up to Halloween whilst working inside their respective buildings. However, this is especially fun to see when they're outside of their environment, such as taking part in the group stretching for example, where everyone is rocking a Halloween costume during the activity. Definitely something you want to get a few pictures of whilst it's available. Number 4 Postcards Now as I mentioned the majority of changes this month are associated with Halloween and as you know something I personally love to see are these smaller details such as the changes to postcards and they are no exception. Throughout the month of October two limited time postcard designs are available at the postcard stand at Dodo Airlines. These include the Halloween card and the pumpkin card, which can be used to write letters all the way through to October 31st. Of course, they don't really mean anything, but it's always a fun detail to make use of and changes things up a little for those who regularly write to their villagers. It's pretty awesome. How often do you send postcards in New Horizons? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Weather Phenomena Now speaking of these smaller details, another thing we like to cover in these monthly changes videos are of course the adjustments to weather patterns. Interestingly, the spooky season has quite a unique weather pattern. We have a 26% chance of normal rain, which is the highest all year, but only a 7% chance of heavy rain, which is the lowest all year. This is likely because as the rain falls in the lead up to winter, it begins to transition into snow. This also means less thunderstorms will occur on your New Horizons Island. October's weather pattern is also unique for those in the Southern Hemisphere as the cherry blossom season takes place from October 1st through to October 10th when no rain falls at all. Now, whilst on the subject of weather phenomena, it's worth noting rainbows are still visible and for those interested, cirrus and cirrocumulus clouds that begin spawning in September will continue to appear throughout October. Rainbows also continue for those in the southern hemisphere, however the river and sea fog you can often see between 5am and 9am disappears and can no longer be encountered from October, which is a shame, it can be quite eerie. 
Number six, seasonal materials. Now there's no real change to the seasonal materials available on the New Horizons Island throughout the spooky season unless you count the candy, but acorns and pine cones continue to be available for the Northern Hemisphere. This also means you can continue to claim free acorns from Kornheimer as Harv's Island if you have him unlocked. As we mentioned earlier, October does see the cherry blossom season for those in the Southern Hemisphere, which means cherry blossom petals and their corresponding seasonal recipes begin spawning from October 1st through to October 10th. Young Spring Bamboo continues to be available too with their respective recipes. Number 7 Island Aesthetics The island aesthetics is always an interesting one to cover and I normally always miss some details but October does see a bunch of new decorations including those at Nooks and the resident services. However, the most notable are of course the bushes that bloom around the New Horizons Island. Both the red and yellow hibiscus and the pink and white plumeria bushes stop flowering at the end of September with orange and yellow tea olives blooming in their place throughout the month of October. So a nice addition if you're looking to change things up a little for the Halloween event. Interestingly, once the red and pink camellia bushes stop flowering in September, no bushes bloom at all in the first two weeks of October for those in the Southern Hemisphere. This is because of the cherry blossom season. Once the cherry blossom season finishes though, pink and white azalea bushes begin to bloom from October 11th through to November. Number 8, Fishing Tawny. Anyway, moving on, something I'm sure even the newest of players probably know is of course the final Fishing Tawny of the year. On the second Saturday of October in both hemispheres, CJ will stop by to host the Autumn Fishing Tawny in the Northern Hemisphere and the Spring Fishing Tawny in the Southern Hemisphere. This year it takes place on October 14th and as always the challenge is to catch as many fish as possible within the time limit. The goal is of course to earn points and redeem them for fishing tawny prizes including the fish wand, the fresh cooler and the fish door plate amongst others. There's no real differences between the tawnies other than autumn fish being available for those in the northern hemisphere and spring fish being available for those in the southern hemisphere. Of course if you get bored of seeing the same fish you could always travel to a friend's island in a different hemisphere if you wanted change of scenery. Either way, it's a great opportunity to earn different types of trophies if that's something you're interested in. Number 9, Critters. Now just like every changes video we've made since our first episode at the launch of New Horizons, we cannot forget about Critters. As with every month, October sees a shift in the bugs, fish and deep sea creatures that are available around the New Horizons island, again in both hemispheres. The Northern Hemisphere doesn't see too many changes though as only 6 new critters arrive including the Ladybug, the Yellow Perch and the Venus Flower Basket amongst others. It's likely this low as we're now out of the summer season and slowly approaching winter. Players in the Southern Hemisphere on the other hand see 21 new critters arrive throughout October including the Atlas Moth, the Snapping Turtle and the Lobster amongst others. It is of course spring in the southern hemisphere and players will see more and more critters as they approach the summer. Again this could be a good time to double check your critterpedia to make sure you're not missing any creatures or if you're new donate some new critters to blathers. So there we have it that's several changes you can expect to see throughout the month of October with many of them adding to the upcoming spooky season. As always thank you so much to the patrons and channel members for supporting today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.